know it's Alex from Hoppos, 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 Hoppos. Uh, uh. Custom work come from Hoppos, Hoppos, Hoppos. I'm, I'm Rob Taylor, 504. For anybody that gotta know, Alex, stay with fresh content and he keep it coming like a slide. What's up and good morning? How are you guys? Alex here from Hoppos with another video for you guys. Today we got a few things going on. But first thing, I gotta touch on the last video. I'm still tired. Technically, that was yesterday for me. But for you guys, a few days. But I am beat. I'm super stoked and excited and pumped with my little truck. I drove that guy home yesterday and I got to like 110 km's, which is like almost 70 miles an hour. I was dipping in that thing. A little sketch, a little sketch on the front wheels. I swapped out the wheels actually. Um, got bigger, wider 15s on there now. So definitely feeling a lot better, but I'm super excited for it. It's, uh, it's like I said, it's something I wanted. So, you know, I showed everyone, I showed my wife. My wife's like, you're really gonna drive that? <laughs> Coming from the big Ram, jumping in that thing to drive it around. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. My daughter loved it. She was inside, she was playing, she was helping me wash it and everything. So that was fun. But right now we're back to reality. We are back to work. Just finish up, finished making a piston tank for our good buddies over at Homies. I also got a few uh, other custom trailing arms and drop downs I gotta build for them as well. Uh, they should be here in a few hours, so I gotta make sure to hurry up and get those pumped out. And then from there, I'll take you guys along to the next step. Until then, let me show you guys the time lapse. <laughs> buzzed up another set of custom trailing arms and drop downs for our good buddies over at homies I gotta do a pickup real quick I just got a phone call that powder coating is all done for the bozo van so we gotta head over there real quick go pick that up that way we get the pumps installed start doing some hard line and finish out the front just leaving powder solutions you got everything all loaded up first load in the acne so let's take off, let's go home. Actually, let's go to the shop. All right, we got it installed already, guys. Now that is pink. Like pink, pink. Like safety pink. And neon pink, holy pink. I dig it, because it stands out and it's different. It's not just chrome on chrome, which I'm so tired of seeing just chrome on chrome on chrome. It just gets drawn out and gets lost, honestly. So I'm actually digging this. It's pretty cool, it's bright. Obviously, this is kind of showing you the color what this is supposed to be going. Plans might change, but most likely it's gonna be going pink. So with that installed, pumps are tight, brackets all tight. Now we're gonna to move to the next step and finalize the rear by putting the rear hoses on. Uh, Vic's actually cutting some custom hoses for it right now. We're gonna get them crimped, get the rear tires on, and that way the back is 100 and 100 and I'm done. Man, this thing got me stressing. So it's funny though, cause we talked to the owner yesterday and he was saying like, oh yeah, it's all good, you know like nonchalant and I'm like man I'm stressing out for you bro so my goal is to get this guy done as quick as possible uh, just because time time restraints it's killing us right now so this one's almost there the back is gonna be done right now in about the next 10 minutes we're gonna jump up to the front which we already started cutting we have to cut a lot away because there's very little like literally like that much clearance are gonna be around the coil so that's gonna be fun to start designing and testing and mocking so I'm gonna spend a little time on that today. Once we get the rear done, we we'll start doing hoses and then move all right to the front. So we're making great progress on this right now. I know in the next like 20, 30 minutes, we're gonna have to stop. We have some more filming to do for Lowrider. So yeah, it's like, oh yeah, we're doing good, we're doing good. Stop, by the way, yeah. <sighs> See you guys in a bit. I mean, I, I could have done this, but Vic's so good with the hose.
I'm not taking a picture, I mean it's a video. I got froze. Oh. <laughs> crimp number one is done. Vic's gonna work his way over to the second one right now. There we go. Take the first hose that we cut. We did a little bit longer on this guy just because we need to have um, movement on the rear cylinder. Being that it's coiled over, we're gonna have to make sure we have a little bit of play in there. So. We have the bulkhead up in this corner over here and uh, we oversized this hose by a few inches. That way we can loop it up and over. So we're jumping on the front side of this thing. The front I've kind of been putting off, I'm not gonna lie. The rear was hard just because we were so tight on clearance. We had about four inches of total to work with. The front is even tighter. So I've been putting it off because I wanted to like literally finish everything and I was gonna like be my main focus. Today's the day, right now's the time. I had no other choice because I need to get it done. Vic's making great progress on the inside. He's wiring everything up. I'll show you guys that in a bit. But as far as the front, we're working with about two and an eighth as far as clearance wise, like two and an eighth to fit a cylinder. The cylinder is an inch and five eighths. So we're having to play the game of measurements and uh, you know how they say you're supposed to like measure like three times and then cut once. Well, this is like measure a whole bunch of times and keep cutting till it fits your measurement. So. This side is the side that's all stripped down. You guys got everything all stripped down over here. Ball joints all broken apart. Uh, just a castle nut in there holding it right now just so it doesn't flop. Uh, they got the brake lines loosened up here. That way you have a little more slop. We got to come in and we got to plasma all these uh, stock brackets off. And then we got to plasma this off. Then we also got to take off the sway bar as well. And then once we do that, we got to actually plasma this off because this is actually right where the coil is going to sit. And again, when I'm talking about tight clearances, I don't know if you guys can see this little lip here. Wow, at full lay, this lip actually hits this lip. Obviously, it doesn't go that far uh, stock, but with the hydraulics, it's gonna pretty much make it right there. So that little bit of clearance right there, right there, we're gonna have to trim out. So we haven't done nothing to this side yet, but the other side is pretty much done. The other side that we've been working on, didn't wanna film it yet because I didn't know exactly how it was gonna go down. But now everything is starting to fall together, so I'll show you guys. Okay, so we have a power ball in here. Originally, our first thought was we weren't going to be able to use a power ball, uh, but it actually worked out to where we could. We actually came in and welded up uh, some of the supports here, there, there. I got some back here as well. And then the section that we cut away, I re-welded up the lip, and then I got to still blend it up a little bit. The top, we whole saw the hole through there, and it's very, very tight. So this right here is just shy of 3 16 material. Um, I don't know if it's millimeters or whatever they're using over there, but it's actually pretty thick, and it's actually double layered. So just to be extra safe, I added a, a section of 3 16 right above it. I don't know if you guys can see, it's really tight in here, but right above it, and it's very thin, but we welded that all up. Any factory little holes that had uh, openings in it, started welding those up we still got to grind them down and mold them but we're on to our last final fitment stage so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the 8 inch casing with a 6 inch shaft right now I just have this in here to mock up with no o-rings so that way I could check clearances and everything so I mean that right there is still a lot of movement so we're probably gonna do this in the front because that's the way it's looking like it's gonna work we're really limited as far as what we can do here just because I'm talking about I mean, the A-arm is like, if, if this was powder coated, the A-arm would pretty much hit it. So that's like, that's how much it is. So really excited to get this in. We're almost at the final stages. I gotta cut a coil in half real quick to get this in. And then on the saw, I think my piece just finished cutting. Let me see. Okay. Uh, Come on, baby. Get out of there. So this is going to be my little spacer just to clear clearance to drop the coil lower. And this is actually going to sit on the top side. What we're doing the spacer on top is let me show you guys. If I can get this guy to stand up straight. Hold on. Hold on. All right, maybe not. Try to get this guy to stand up straight so I can show you guys with one hand. 
So here's the diameter of the, uh, it's like two and seven eighths. That difference right here from the coil to this pipe is what makes the difference of this fitting. So we're gonna have to space the coil downwards to get more space in there. So everything's working and fitting properly. And a lot of time and hours on this, I've even got reassurance from Art. And he's like, yeah, it's just, that's just the way this is gonna be because of how tight it is and how small everything is and the limit of travel. I mean, this is tighter than any mini truck that I've ever done, any mini truck that Art's ever done. When originally he came over here, he's like, oh, that has plenty of room. And then he came and saw after I tore everything apart, he's like, oh yeah, that's actually really, really tight. He's like, that's gonna take some figuring out. And let me tell you, I've been trying to figure it out for a while now. So, got it all done. Say hi to Vic. You guys know, that's Vic's signature sound. He's like Bigfoot making three knocks on a tree in the background. So, <laughs> call you Bigfoot. Do you know why? Legend has it that Bigfoot makes three knocks in the wood. And you just did like three knocks right now, so I'm gonna call you Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot little. So we're. <laughs> I can't even talk now because I'm laughing. But <laughs> so Vic's been working on the setup here. He's getting everything wired in, getting everything all uh, hidden. And he says this is his first time he's ever done wiring. All these years, and this is the first time that you attempted to do wiring. Well, luckily you have a great teacher. Oh, your dad? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel bad. I'm just cleaning the styling. What'd you say? <laughs> Can you put that on camera, please? Too bad you're, you're not recording. Oh, okay. But he's making good progress here. He got all the dumps wired up. Wires all hidden as much as they can be. Obviously, this is fully exposed. This is where the general audience is going to see all this. So there's a few little things he's working on. Got to start running wires all the way back to finalize um, the switch cord and power cables because the pumps are actually up here. The batteries and solenoids are all the way back there. So we have to uh, kind of do some rerouting. All right, guys. So here is my final mock-up. Crossing my fingers, this is my final mock-up, I should say. I got to the top, to the center hub, I got 12 inches, which I was actually reading about 12 and a half. So we're actually about a half inch to a quarter inch beyond laid right now. This is fitment. Like I said, I we're able to squeeze in. Let me see if I get in there. We're able to squeeze in the power ball in there. We're able to get the coil. Everything's clearing right now. I'm gonna get a tack on this power ball. That way I can cycle the suspension real quick to make sure everything's looking good. Cause right now when I cycle, it's moving. So if I get a stationary point on this and this guy travels down perfect, then we'll be good. At least I hope we're gonna be good. I got probably about a solid four hours of trial and error on this right now. And I'm hoping this is a last step. I'm a little tired right now, but we were like, on that last stretch where things are like starting to come together so i'm very excited so keep you guys updated I got a mess here guys once again I don't know I collected a whole bunch of random tools that I probably only use like three of those but look at that that's not even full lockup yet so it's still gonna move about another extra inch or so after that so travel is gonna look real good this whole side is completely done oh man there we go tired we're gonna move on to the next side my goal is to get both sides done today. I already got hoses tied into this one that's done in the front. The rear hoses are done. Vic's pretty much almost buttoned up. He's got some very final cleanup. And just really waiting on the last corner. And then we got a few little hard lines to do. And some bulkheads. And we're like on that finishing edge and that like right there. So let me get working guys. Move our way over to the driver's side. Like I'm getting that all mixed up. Got our piece cutting here on the saw. Now that we know what to do, we're getting everything pre-prepped right now. 
I'm gonna start tearing that side down. Well, it's already torn down, but I gotta get everything cut away. So that's what you guys are gonna see next. Hit the time lapse.